Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Zanita. Please do me a few favors. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. Turn the post notification bell on so you will know when I post. And please leave me a comment down below. And remember, if this is not your type of party or your cup of tea, pass this video along. Y'all, so you saw the title. In today's the day, we are reviewing none other than Makeup by Mario. This is the Surreal Skin Concealer. Yeah, it doesn't have any other nice Real Skin Awakening Concealer. Uh, so I have the shade 420 here, and we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. <laughs> two fluid ounces and if I'm not mistaken I think it retails for $29 if not I leave all that information in the description below but I chose the shade 420 just by looking I guess so we're gonna use it as brightening so I'm gonna go ahead and do my base makeup and we're gonna be using none other than the foundation and this is in the shade 20N for those who are new I'll leave like a link to my review on this foundation, so I'm just going to speed this process up. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and jump into the concealer. And it's a really nice color. This is the Dofa applicator. Let's see if it focuses very kind of flat, so I feel like it can really get up in there. And let's see. All right. Okay, so that's a really good color. Nice. I'm just gonna put a little there. And it has like a, a slight scent, but it's almost like, you know how that makeup scent is. Um, but it goes on. Let me see my mirror. Yeah, that's a really good shade. And it goes on really creamy. They said this concealer is self-setting if I didn't say that before. So, self-setting to me means... It's gonna dry really really fast so you gotta work quick when blending it out and we're just gonna put some in all the places that I like to highlight and as y'all can see I didn't have to put it back into the uh, concealer jar so that's not the concealer tubing and I can tell it's definitely drying down so we're gonna go ahead and blend it out. I am going to blend with a sponge on one side and then my brush on the other. Let me grab my Do my beauty blender on this side. Okay. Okay, although it dries fast, it does blend as y'all can see. And that's a really good, a really good shade and i believe this is medium to buildable coverage and i feel like i'm getting medium not necessarily any type of full but i don't know i like how they look mm, can y'all see that Okay, that looks nice. Now, let me hurry up and do the other side because like I said, I can tell that it's drying down pretty fast. So let's use a brush and see which side I like better. Oh, 
Okay. So, I'm not going to lie. It do seems like it's taking a lot of work to blend it out. But, like I said, it's still sitting. So, I would recommend just doing one side at a time. Because, like I said, it, um, it dries pretty quick. Okay, so with the brush, you can see like it gave me way more coverage, way more coverage. But I like the side with the sponge because y'all know the sponge do take away product. But this front, the sponge looks really natural, whereas with the brush, it looks really more a lot more full coverage if you will yeah with the with the brush it actually gave it kind of like that full coverage look and it's also it's giving me kind of not cakey but it definitely dried down so let me hurry up <laughs> and blend the rest of this before it don't move now that i can say it looks like it will not move Okay, so these places with the brush are blending okay you may have to like rehydrate your face to um get it but that blended in real nice y'all hold up hold up okay 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 y'all it's crazy so i don't know if y'all can see it but the side i did with the brush definitely mattified down like it is definitely matte on this side but this side with the sponge is giving more of like a satin finish that's crazy but looking at myself in a viewfinder i like this side way better it just gives a nice satiny matte satin finish whereas this side with the brush is giving way more matte I don't know how I feel about that and I didn't put on like a matte primer cuz I knew that this was a cell setting concealer so I went with a more hydrating more skin like primer I don't know let me finish my face and then blend it out okay but my face looks good so because it's self-setting like for those people who don't have a whole lot of creasing under their eye they could probably get away with this and just go without any powder me however I crease and I need a little bit of powder but y'all I'm so confused because looking at my left side that side i use with the brush bro you could tell like it's it's sealed in <laughs> but this side this side is gorgeous okay i'm gonna i'm gonna put just a little bit more hopefully i don't come off a little cakey and y'all i'm sorry this video is too long but this is my true first impression i didn't play in it when i got it a few days ago and i'm just I'm just I just can't believe it so I'm gonna blend it out with this sponge this beauty blender which is gonna put a little bit I am gonna take a little bit of powder because like I said I crease but so far for it to be like self-setting I'm not creasing I'm not so I'm just gonna take my own my beauty uh, powder because it's such a thin finely milled powder and I don't really want to change the color of this concealer so we're just going to take just a little bit because it's like I said because it's self setting and we're going to set let's set this side oh although I really like the look <laughs> of it without the powder okay so that don't look too terrible I was just scared that it was like so super matte looking that when I said it with the powder it was gonna be too much 
like the powder may grip to dry patches if y'all understand okay mm. it did get the powder did kind of stick here to a little bit of a patch but it don't look bad all right y'all so this is my final look and y'all see the smile on my face because the face is snatched the face is beat it's been a while since i seen my face look this good so well done mario so what i'm gonna do is actually read y'all a few claims about the concealer because y'all know i was a little iffy in the beginning about actually what it is supposed to do and what's in it but like i said it do retail for 29 dollars. it does have 22 shades and once again i got the shade for 20 and it is described as a, a multi-use concealer that visibly lifts definitely did that blurs did that and brightens your under eye complexion for an awakened appearance did that coverage is medium finish is natural okay so that right side with the sponge made sense it gave me a little bit more of a natural finish versus when i did it with the brush which i'm really surprised by that um it has caffeine in it which visibly reduces the puffiness and dark circles love that and then it has fermented marine microorganisms which smooth skin with collagen like stimulation and a visibly tightening effect so i definitely can see that it kind of lifted the eye or whatnot i don't really feel a tightening effect but like i said it ain't crease in it's self setting so that's a good sign because usually like self-setting type concealers well LYS self-setting concealer didn't increase on me but there have been some in the past that will and this one so far so good so it's pretty pretty late in the day so I'm gonna try to give y'all like maybe a two two three hour check-in like I started this video at I believe like 5 30 6 p.m <laughs> very late but I will come back to y'all and let y'all see what it looks like so i am back it is 10 13 so i actually gave you guys about four hours and this is what my face is looking like now mind you i didn't really leave the house however i have been doing a lot of moving but overall like my under eyes still look good there is a little bit of creasing here which is to be expected for me but it like i said it didn't crease initially so like about four hours and even so like let me check my mirror looking at it it's not like terrible terrible creasing now as far as concealers that i love i do love natural radiant creamy hydrated concealers self-setting concealers are okay to me self-setting concealers just mean matte and I've never really been too big of a fan of matte concealers under my eyes because of the drying process and the creasing but my under eye they don't feel super dry or anything like that and like I said the creasing is not that bad and like I said it's been over four hours now so I'm actually pleased with the results so do I recommend y'all go out and get this concealer yeah I'm gonna say yes only because like I really love the initial application of it. Like I said, I really enjoyed um, blending it out with a damp sponge versus my brush. I just like how it just made the face come together. It really is a nice concealer. But like I said, you know, I do recommend you go out and try, but overall it's your decision to make. And if you got something that's better, go with that. Also, Please uh, watch my uh, short on the Tower 28 concealer, y'all. Now, that concealer I do love. I might have to give y'all a full video on that concealer also. If you would like to see me do a full video on the Tower 28 concealer, please drop me a comment down below and I will give you guys that. Alright, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for your time.